All right, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to actually CNC this whole thing. Uh, so basically what that means is we're going to, first thing we got to do is create a part, which we've done. The next thing we have to do is create the tools or download the tools into a library for what we're going to use. We did that last time. And now we actually have to teach the machine how to use those tools and where those tools need to go. So uh, right now, here's my part. Okay, it's all completed. We're going to go from design to manufacture okay and i'm going to create a setup now setup is basically what you guys did on the mill with that uh edge finder so i'm going to bring my my edge finder in here boop and boop that way i can know exactly that my edge is always going to be here on this corner okay so far so good so that's all i've done i've just been able to do it way easier on this machine now when i transfer this to the mill and i put my part in i will have to edge find but i'm telling the machine where i'm going to edge find so it's really important to remember where you edge find because i could edge find it here but then i would have to uh, make sure that on the machine that is where i edge find here and here but i always like to do the bottom left hand corner because when you do it like when you look at a, a print um, and the Cartesian plane, this is always zero, zero, right? And this is my Y values, and this is my X values, and these are all positive numbers for X and positive numbers for Y. If I was to do it the opposite way and do here, I could, if this was my part, do my origin there, but then all my numbers would be negative in the X and negative in the Y. And I don't like negative numbers, so I'm not going to deal with negative numbers. I could also put it right here in the middle of the part, right? But then I have to deal with net positive and positive and negative and negative, and I don't like doing that. The only time I would ever do that is if I'm dealing with a cylindrical thing, because there is no corner to edge find. This is off the part. So it actually makes it easier for me to edge find in the middle of the part. Then I do have to deal with positive, and negative, and negative. Um, this is not, <laughs> thank God, uh, this is not uh, cylindrical or circular. So I am going to edge find on the bottom left corner, just like a normal axis of X and Y. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it there. If for some reason it doesn't line up, let's say you, you set this up in a different plane, Z always needs to be straight up, okay? But let's say uh, when you guys set this thing up, when you made it, you guys did not have Z in the right spot. Let's say it looks kind of like that, okay? All you have to do is go into orientation. I'm going to select, select Z axis and X axis. And I'm going to select the edge that I want to be straight up. So it doesn't matter if I choose this one or this one or this one. As long as it's straight up, it it's gonna snap too. Now, see how Z is down? I don't want that. I want Z to be straight up. So I'm just gonna click it. Then I get back to box point. <laughs> click it. And I snap to the bottom left hand corner of my part. Where do I know the bottom left hand is? That's a great question. Well, all I gotta do is look Daddy, at the print. Is this is where my Daddy, zero zero is. Daddy, Maeve, Maeve. This is that is your left hand, you're right. This is, this is zero and this is zero, so that is my part origin. Notice everything else is positive. So, but you also know you might notice, see how there's a little extra space here? Okay. I am going to it automatically uh, issues extra space because it's, it thinks you want extra space. I don't, I know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of those extra spaces. And notice that the width of my block is now 3.5. The depth is 2.5 and the height is 0.725. That's exactly the size of my block, okay? I've never used this machine before, that's cool. We'll come back to that. Um, all right, and that's it. So now my origin is set, boom. And I'm ready to start uh, making my part, okay? So this is my stock that I'm starting with, and you guys will mill it down to size, okay? And then come in here and do all the operations. Now, normally, you would do the face operation on your own, but we're gonna go ahead and set it up here so you guys can see how. So here are all of my possible 2D operations, okay? A 2D operation means it'll only handle two dimensions. If you guys wanna get real fancy at some point, I might teach you how to do 3D milling, which is ball nose milling. Um, that it will do three dimensional shapes like that. But for now, we're just gonna handle 2D operation. So the first thing we gotta do is face mill, okay? And before we can do that, we have to select our tool, 
Okay. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to my NIM CNC library. I'm going to select face mill, the thing we made before. Hit OK. And boom, there's my face mill. Notice that my face mill should go all the way across. Now, it will do this automatically, okay? All right. Then we have to set the spindle RPM. Uh, we come back here and do that later. Uh, surface feet per minute for aluminum is 600. And everything else snaps too. Our machine maxes out 6,000, so I'm going to go ahead and do 5,000 just to keep it a little bit under. Uh, cutting speed, that should be fine. Uh, I would love coolant to stay on. Maeve, Maeve, I'm, I'm doing something, okay. Well, can you go upstairs and sing? I do love your singing, though. It soothes my heart. All right, so geometry, I want this whole section to be face milled. Uh, these are the retract, okay? So this is the top of my part, this one here. So don't mess with that. This green one is my feed, so it's going to be my retract. So it's going to come back up, okay, this one. Um, and then this is my, uh, what is that? Clearance, so in case there's some, let's say there's like a bolt sticking out, this should come up here and clear. Um, and then I don't have a bottom height, so I'm just going to say bottom and things like that. So that's fine. Passes. Uh, this is where I'll get uh, fancy with it. I don't want to leave any stock, so I'll unclick that. I don't need multiple depths because I'm just doing it once. If I was, this would be like uh, 0.25. It might step down, uh, but in this operation, it won't. Uh, this all looks good. and don't need to worry about linkage. Hit OK. Oh, let's turn that Shut up. Okay, have a zero step down. Boom, and that is my tool path. Okay? And if I want to get real fancy with it, I can go to my simulate button, turn stock on. So this is what it's going to look like before the operation. Okay, see how everything is green? I'm going to hit play. Boom. And now it's faced and it's perfect. Okay? All right, next operation. I'm going to come in here in my setup, and I'm going to say, let's do, let's do that contour. 2D contour. Okay, I don't want to use the facing bit. I want to use the two flute three quarter bit like we used before. Okay, come down here. And then my speed's going to stay about the same. Uh, surface feet per minute should be 600. Um, this is all fine. I'll explain these later when we get to it uh, for manual programming. But for now, for this operation, it'll, it'll be fine. Uh, come down here. I want to contour this spot. Okay, so I'm going to contour that. Um, do, 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 this is all fine. That's all fine. Uh, I'm, I want to do multiple depths, okay? I'm going to do a multiple depth, and my multiple depths is going to be uh, half the diameter. That is standard, that I'm going to take half the diameter of my bit and step down. So I, can, I know my bit is 0.75, so I'm going to divide that by 2. Okay, so I'm going to have two step downs, and everything else should be good. Hit OK, and it should do it twice. Oh, come on. Well, for, for sake of argument, let's go ahead and change that step down to 1 8th. Just so you guys can see what a step down looks like. It's going to be multiple passes, okay? So, when I go to run the whole thing, let's run just that part. It's going to do a little bit at a time. Boom. Okay, but notice that there is a little bit sticking out. Now, we don't want that, okay? So, we're going to have to do... There's two ways to do it. I can run a second one, so I can duplicate this. Do, do, do. Duplicate. And then run an offset. So, I'm going to come in here and keep my multiple tap, my multiple passes on. Um stock to leave. I want to leave some stock so it actually is going to stick out a little bit. Okay, so what's going to happen is around this blue spot, it's going to leave whatever I tell it. Okay, now what I'm, I'm not really leaving stock, but I'm pushing it away from there. So like I'm going to push it as of right now, fourth out off that blue line. The more I push it out, the more on the outside I'll hit. So let's go ahead and leave an eighth of an inch. Okay, that way it's going to be off the stock a little bit, right? Hopefully this hits that spot. So let's see if it does. Uh, 
do, do, do. Yep, sure did. But notice that it's leaving an eighth of an inch around my contour, right? So when I go in here and run the whole thing, I have to hit setup and it'll run all three functions. Okay, all three tool paths. So there's my facing bit. I can speed this up. See, but I don't want that to go last. Okay, I want the first one to go last because why did not hit that? Oh, did I leave stock on the top too? Oh, that's interesting. Let's fix that real quick. All right, so I don't want was it axial. Oh, so this axial. All right, this is a good spot. Radial is um, X and Y values off of this. So the radial offset is going to be in this direction. The axial offset is in the Z direction. So it's going to be straight up. I don't want to leave anything in the Z. That's what that little tip was before. Okay, so I'm going to turn that down to zero. Right, and now it's going to go straight back down to this face. Now, I don't want this to be last. I want it to be first. So I'm going to come over here and just drag it straight up. Okay, and I can rename this if I want. Do, do, do. Rename. Okay, I'm going to call this offset contour. Okay, if I could spell it, it would be great. Oh my god, get off. No. It always, there. It always does it when I don't want it to. It never does it when I do. Okay, offset contour and then on nominal contour nominal contour okay so now when it does it it'll take off that little excess for me I think the bagel's ready you think the bagel's ready? Mm -hmm. alright let me finish this kid then I'll get the bagel for you yep there it goes alright so there's the axial and there's the nominal oh, yeah come on up kiddo Alright, 